Welcome back, LEGO fans. My name is 111 LEGO Reviews 111, and today I have the new DC Comics Superhero Set. And now it is ages 6 through 12. It is set number 76011, Batman, Batman Attack. And it is 184 pieces. You get three minifigures, a comic book, and a finally a new LEGO Batman villain. Now, um, we've seen new variants, but we have not seen a new just person in a very, very long time. So that makes me very happy about this set, even though he could have been a little bit more detailed. But we'll get into that a little bit later. It does come with a small instruction book here that is just under 60 pages of building. No mistakes. Very simple and very fast, you know, depending on your Lego skills, Lego building skills. And here's the box. Just take a look at the back. Very nice and simple, you know, your average showing off the play features and stuff back there. Very easy and very fun. Now, let's go ahead and get on to the minifigures. And of course, you cannot have a Lego Batman set without Batman, except if you're considering the one in 2008, the um, Penguin sub where you only got Robin. Uh, that's the only time. But, of course, we get, you know, your average Joe Batman black suit. Or, you know, black suit Batman. Where he has the iconic Batman symbol on his chest there. The gold on black there. Very iconic. And then down to the utility belt where he has the four compartments with the little buckle. And in those four compartments, he can hold his battery. And yes, you do get two of these in the set. So, they're the ones that they've been making for many years now. So, I have, like, probably... 3,450 of these laying around, you know, um, just to throw at people, so <laughs> a lot of fun. We have his cape, you know, if you have a worn out one, you can always take this one off, you know, since it's just your boring black suit of Batman. No offense, Batman. I mean, no, uh, not to make you sad. <laughs> and of course, he has his double-sided, like, he has his double-sided head. We have his mad face with the yellow, of course, with the white band, you know, for the effect of the white eyes. And back we have his sort of happy face, which he never makes in anything besides Lego. So, happy Batman, but his neck's broken. You know, let's fix that. Okay. And, yeah, there we go. That is Batman. So, the next minifigure I have in this set is the Nightwing. Now, this is a New 52 red Nightwing, so a lot of you guys remember the blue one. And you're probably wondering, why is he red? Well, that's because DC Comics has taken a turn since the last minifigure. And now, you know, he's red. So, um, red Nightwing. <laughs> of course, he looks, you know, still really cool. With a nice, you know, Nightwing logo, which is kind of like a V. And, um, of course, all the details in the pecs. And then you have these lines around him for more detail. And up to his red mask, very cool with the red eyes. His face looks a little small, so the printing's a little disappointing for me. But of course we've seen this minifigure a long time ago since it's been leaked, and a lot of people have reviewed it. You know, a lot of my colleagues have reviewed it. So a lot, this isn't new to a lot of you. And we have the V on the back. And of course we have this black hair, very nice in this color. And we can turn around and get his happy face. There we go, Dick Grayson being happy, kicking man bat butt. And we can turn it around. And, you know, just the rest of him is just the plain black minifigure parts. A little disappointing, he did not come with a weapon besides his little jetpack thing that I'll show you a little later in the review. But um, it would have been nice if he came with, like, swords. Not swords, but, like, his, um, his weapon. So, <laughs> before I get, you know, lost in thought. So that's a little disappointing. But, of course, we finally get a new Nightwing. So the final minifigure you get in this set is... Man Bat. Now, as I said, this is the first man, like the first new villain that Lego has made in a very long time. Uh, probably, I think, since Harley Quinn. I'm going out on a limb there. And Harley Quinn in 2008 when she got her hammered truck. I think that was the last time that they made a new villain. Um, but they've rehashed old ones, of course, in new variants. Um, so, very excited about that. But of course, we have, I'll just talk about it as I go. Um, we, Lego was able to do this with their new stuff that they did in the Monster Fighters and one of the minifigure series with the bats. So, um, of course, that's where they got these pieces from, so why not make a man bat, of course. Um, we have this nice pointy here, ear headpiece with the printing on the colors there. 
very nice and we have his face which is not exactly the same as the monster fighter ones um very new for him and we have you know he's just an overall creepy thing so they had to make it a creepy face so kids be careful it's not real it's okay <laughs> going down to like all that hair on him and of course he has a peck detail and the arm pieces are very cool you can take them off like normal arms and hands so if you want to paint them and use them as something else go ahead in the back of him he just has more detail on the fur so very plain uh, I kinda wish it was more distinctive but you know I guess a giant man bat you can't go you can't do that pretty much wrong unless if you um, it would make it better if you had leg printing or something but Lego doesn't like to do that so that didn't happen but anyways very cool very very pleased to see a new variant of a old and classic Batman villain so let's get on with the set okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the set first we're gonna look at his Nightwing's little jetpack now um, you know kind of creative for Lego to do for a $20 set um, is to create a little jetpack for Nightwing better than him having like a skateboard or something so very neat we have his little sticker logo on the back there you know utilizing all of his colors you know just the red and black it's pretty much all of his colors with the wings on the side flexible for him gliding and flying you know trying to uh, bring down the man bat underneath we have these translucent orange pieces to simulate the flying and of course we have his weapons on top and I'm not sure how you supposed to do this I think they swing back you know to do all the gliding and stuff so he can attack you know I guess it's all part of your imagination so fold in and out just like that and just another look at the back and all the detail kinda of to simulate a bird um, because he was Robin and now he's Knight Wing so very very cool now let's take a look at the Batcopter now this was um, something I've been excited for since I heard about it releasing you know um, ever since the bat boat we have not gotten a bat helicopter so very pleased that they over at lego they decided to make the helicopter next so very cool as we can tell we have the basic batman colors yellow black or you know kind of like a gold black color scheme there and let's take a look at the front first we have his cockpit which is branded with the batman logo and of course you get the two flick fire missiles on the side and lift it up and we see the control panel in there with that printed on piece he sits in there nice and neat take him out closing cockpit very cool translucent go to the side and we have like these pulse you know repulsor kind of guiding engines here for the helicopter it's actually a very complex helicopter um, you know I wish tech I wish I knew the technical name for it but you know you get two on each side and then here is the only play function on it it kinda has like a grappling hook which is fed through with a piece of twine or string and you just roll and go back up and we have the hook on there so you know not pretty basic play function but you know pretty cool so we have the wheels on the bottom also for a nice landing and gliding takeoff and in front we have the spotlight which is orange you know I wish push a little light maybe Lego in the future will have like little light bricks like they do now but they're like really big so little condensed light bricks those would be cool we go to the back of it and we have the kind of like the pole piece right here going to the back what they normally do for helicopters and the nice spinning turning blade right there and the bat wing piece on the back here nice big piece in the orange light again and moving top to the propellers we have the two propeller pieces and then the two half shooting they usually use these for like flick fire missiles so half of those on the top and easily spins for a good amount of time depending on how you flick it so very very cool and of course with the comic book themed Lego set, you gotta have a comic book. Um, very nice artwork on this. See Batman and the Flash, you know, all the sets that come. Each set, bigger set, the three ones out of the four come with this and not the little one. You know, that's how they do it. I won't open it up because I won't spoil it for you guys if you want it. Um, nice. It's pretty, it's a lot of fun to read, so 
you know, just a little extra thing you get for buying the set. But on the back, it shows all the minifigures since last year. So we have the Arkham Asylum set figures. We have the Dark Knight Rises ones, the Batboat ones, the Man of Steel ones. And then all the ones from this year, we have the Riddler and Flash, um, the Batman from that one, the new Scuba Batman. I can't wait for that set to come out. That looks amazing. And the Batgirl and also Damian Wayne Robin. Woohoo, yeah. Um, so very good lineup for this year and very cool to see on it. So yeah, that is the comic book. So in conclusion, we have a very great set, very worth it for $20. You get three minifigures, a really awesome, you know, vehicle, a good villain, and, you know, your basic Batman and awesome sidekick Nightwing. So very cool. I would recommend it. And yeah, so that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm a little late to the party on it, but I really hope you still enjoyed it. Please also like the video. Um, that, you know, that helps me out a lot. Um, makes me know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to. And also comment down below if you guys enjoyed this review and, you know, just anything you'd like. Thank you guys for watching. Also down in the description below are links to my social media stuff. Uh, I know I don't really say that a lot, but you can follow me on Twitter and also people that help me out on the videos that I do with thumbnails and other stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching and always subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.